Hey guys, welcome back to The Art of Server. So this morning I posted a video about the uh, best uh, HPA SAS expander combo for a PCI by four slot. And in that video, I told you guys that you can basically use any of the ports uh, to connect the drives. And yet in the comments, I see that some of you guys still don't believe me. And so I figure, okay, I gotta follow that up and show you guys that I'm not joking around, I'm not making things up. I've actually tested uh, the various scenarios when I tell you something uh, does work, it's because I do know that it does work. And I know some of you guys wanna point me to the Adaptac documentation that says, no, only this port will work for controller and that port won't work connecting to hard drives or whatever, okay? So um, I'm gonna show you what actually works and you can take it or leave it, but uh, I just wanna kinda settle this uh, question for sure because I get this question a lot and I see that you guys still are, some of you at least, are still doubting me. So anyway, here's the setup, right? So I've got the M12 uh, or 1210 controller connected to an AEC A2885T. I have it connected right now to port A. I know you guys were mentioning something about port G being the one. Okay, so we're gonna test everything today, okay? So I've got it uh, on port A right there for now, and we're gonna swap that out a little bit later. Uh, and I'm also gonna test the external ports. So I've got the external ports connected to this uh, adapter bracket to convert it to an internal uh, port right there. And I'm going to connect these four SSDs right here. They are connected through this cable right here. And so we're gonna plug this cable into every single port there. And then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna show you that you'll see the drives show up, okay? And then we're also going to plug it into this adapter here so that basically they'll be connected through the external ports. I'm gonna show you that that also works. So basically any of the ports will work connecting to drives. And this is directly to these four SATA drives. They're uh, SATA SSDs, no backplane, nothing else involved, just a straight cable uh, to that. So, all right, so let's start with the port G. You guys, uh, somebody mentioned in the comments that I didn't test the right port, that it's port G that's the problem. Okay, so let's let's see how that works. All right, so this is port G. All right, you can see that um, there's a mirror there inside the, uh, the server, so you can see that it's plugged into that last port, which is port G. Okay, All right, okay. So, let's see here. All right, so you can see all four drives right there, right? So that's the SAS 3004 controller. That's the M1210. Here's the AEC A2885T, right? And it's on a SCSI address fives. And so all the other devices are gonna show up under five, which they are. And those are the four SATA drives connected to that cable. Okay, so for sure, port G does work with, uh, connecting directly to drives. It's not designated for the controller, okay? There's no such thing. And I've shown you guys this with other SAS expanders in the past. You know, some of you guys might be new to my channel, maybe you haven't seen those videos, but if you go through any of the videos on SAS expanders that I have, I've repeatedly told you guys any port will work, okay? Uh, basically, SAS expanders act like a network switch, okay? They're just there to pass, um, the uh, CDBs and the basically the IO packets back and forth. Okay, so but anyway, just to settle this discussion for sure, let's also plug it into the next port here. Okay, let's just go through every every single port. All right, so that's now um, port F, I believe. Okay, so let's see. Let's give it a few minutes.
All right, there's four drives once again. All right, so all right, let's go to the next port. Now this other port, I think was one of the ports I tested in the video posted this morning, but just to be comprehensive in this video, I'm gonna test every single port. Okay, so that's now um, port E. And the four drives are already there. Okay, so let's go to the next one here. All right, there you are, four drives. Okay, so all four of these ports work for connecting to drives, okay? None of them are designated as a controller only port or anything like that. All right, so next I'm gonna do, I think this is port, um, that's A, B, C, so probably C, okay? All right, so there are those four drives. All right, so let's go ahead and do port B. All right, you guys can see that, right? That's port B. All right, so there's again those four drives. All right, so I'm gonna unplug it from port B, and port A is right now connected to the controller, but I'm gonna show you that that also, uh, it doesn't really matter. It, you can basically use any port. So I'm just move that over to port B, the connection to the controller. Okay, so now port A is vacant, right? All right, and you'll see that the SAS expander is still detected and there are four lanes at 12 gigabits. Okay, so it's it's detected the SAS expander. And I'm gonna plug this into port A. All right, so we got four drives once again. Okay. So now, so basically we've tested every single internal port. I've used it to connect to four, the four SATA drives right here and they all work. Okay, so now I'm gonna extend that test to the external ports. You can basically do the same thing. Again, it does not matter what port you use for the controller, what ports you use for the, the storage drives. All of them will work. And I'm gonna show that to you even with the external uh, ports. Okay, so I've got the external ports uh, connected to this adapter so I have some internal ports I can connect to and uh, let me go ahead and unplug this and I'm just gonna plug it in the top port here we'll do the lower one next after this all right so that's plugged in and then we'll just have to wait a little bit for the drives to get detected All right, so there are four drives right there, right? Same four drives we've been testing all along here. Okay, so finally, we're gonna test the bottom. Okay, so that's plugged in now, connected to the external ports. All right, and there you go. So we have four drives uh, showing up with those uh, using the external ports as well. So basically guys, you can use any port on that AEC A2885T SAS expander to connect the drives. There are no ports that are designated controller only, only or anything like that. That's not how SAS expanders work. Um, I've demonstrated this with other older SAS expanders as well. When I think people like a few years ago, people asked about the 46M 0997 from IBM and some of those ports uh, have a label that says input and 
somehow some people thought that you know you could only connect those ports to the controllers and that's not true you can connect any of the ports to controllers and the same goes with this AEC A2885T so I don't know why the documentation designates a certain port for controller or not uh, but it's not a technical limitation that may be the preferred installation uh, you know method that Adaptech uh, I guess you know maybe wants people to install it that way uh, but it's not a technical limitation and so if you have one of these expanders and you're having problems um, having a drive show up on one of these ports or whatever it's not because the expander was designed that way or the firmware was doing it that way um, it's probably something else you know maybe your expander is damaged and you know I would say take a look at the SAS expander um, in the back behind the ports, there are tiny little capacitors that uh, bridge all the uh, the SAS lanes. And so if any of those are damaged, you might have a problem with that port. But it's not by design that, you know, these ports, uh, some of these ports might not work with your drives. They will work. Um, you might just might have some other problems going on. Okay, and that's the same pretty much with any SAS expander. I've gotten the same question about uh, the SAS expander backplanes from Supermicro, and that's the same thing. Um, you know, you could pretty much use any of the ports. Uh, it doesn't matter. There's there's no port designated for cascading to the back to a secondary backplane. Uh, you know, you can use any of those ports to connect to the controller. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, kind of settle this question once and for all, and hopefully uh, you guys believe me now and don't. You know, doubt what I was trying to say uh, in the video that I posted this morning. So anyway, I'm going to post this probably this this evening just to, uh, you know, settle settle this question uh, for sure now. And uh, yeah, and if you are having problems, you know, uh, you, you need to probably look into, um, you know, why your SAS expander isn't behaving correctly, basically. Okay. Uh, one thing I would recommend is to update the firmware to the latest firmware. If, if you bought it from my store, it will already have the latest firmware. Uh, if you bought it somewhere else, uh, you know, you'll want to update the firmware and it's, it's not very hard to do. There are instructions you can download from Adaptex website and just update the firmware. And, uh, you know, and so if it is a firmware issue, hopefully uh, that will resolve that. I have on this card, I believe it's B059 is the firmware version. And so, I can at least say that with that version of firmware, all the ports work to connect the drives, okay? So anyway, hope that helps you guys out and clarifies that topic. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, okay? And if you wanna support my channel, go check out my eBay store. I'll leave a link down in the video description and uh, have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.